Good morning, uh, good afternoon, and good evening. So today's video was on a, an individual named Virgo Triad who made a video regarding the Moors and the Sovereign Man. Um, I was very interested in what she said about the Sovereigns, but I was less interested in what she had to say about the Moors. Um, also, uh, some inaccuracies that she stated. First off, the birth certificate is considered a vessel. It is also considered an obligation of the United States. I can actually post that at the bottom or in the description. Um, I also, uh, she also stated that they had a tax number that started with an A. Kind of interesting that I was looking on videos on the web. And I found um, something very interesting because there was a uh, there's a, um, a you there's a YouTube page out there, and it actually begins. It looks just like that text she put in there. Now, be very careful because on that web page, don't go on it. I don't recommend going on it because you'll be hacked and you'll be attacked and you'll be watched. It's not it's an eerie thing but it started with an a2 so i wonder if there's an actual coincidence to those uh things uh the the more that put that license uh tax number as well as the uh individual who runs that pay that creepy youtube deep web like page um just interesting um, I don't know if you would investigate that. I I'm, can tell you're a pretty tough lady. So, I know, but these guys don't, yeah, they don't play around. Uh, you don't want to really mess with the people on the deep webs. There was also a comment she made uh, that the United States government, if you were really a sovereign government, you would have to, um, you would have, you wouldn't have to apply for a sovereign. Well, then you could say that about all the nations of the uh, Native Americans as well. And that's not insulting natives because I am also native myself. Um, I do not know what type of native. If you can show me how to go and find about that. I believe it's Blackfoot because of the, the facial structure uh, of mine. Uh, but I don't know. Um, but uh, the real natives are Native Americans that were here before them. Um, Funny side note, did you know that the Templar Knights actually had relations with the natives in America during the war that they had with the King of England while they were trying to unite the King of uh, the Prince of England and the, uh, the Princess of France? They came to the United States and had relations. Willis and Clark actually had a diary, which one of them died. I don't know if it, I don't remember if it was Willis or Clark, but one of them died, and they said they wrote in their diary there was blue-eyed Native Americans, which is interesting, right? Um, my friend, she's also a blue-eyed Native American, so I wonder if she's from that Templar uh, bloodline. Um, so you know the the. Also, you have to realize that these there's certain bloodlines that go back really, really far, like like um, the Rothschild bloodline. Uh, bloodline it goes back all the way dating to the Golden Age. But the people who were, were indigenous here were the natives before we were invaded, before our peace was invaded, before our lands were invaded and taken over, and we were lied to, stolen, given our blankets to smallpox, all that nonsense. Because the when it comes down to it, you know and I know that the government is intrusive. No matter how much you want to deny Most of the people uh, that are Moors are very much misled. Uh, the real sovereign, the real sovereign is the secured party. Uh, the secured party is the creditor. You are a creditor because back in the day, the United States, 1933, went bankrupt. Um, you can deny it all you want, but we went bankrupt in 1933. We went bankrupt in 1988, believe it or not, and we went bankrupt in 2000. Uh, there was about four bankruptcies. Um, the state of California actually has a bars and Duns and Bars number 0715490000. It's a corporation. Well, if it can't apply for statehood, 
and it's not applicable because only a sovereign government can, then how does that apply to the state of California, which is a corporation, a business? Um, that That's also very interesting. I would like to have an, a conversation about that. Um, also, the, the, the you have to remember that an individual... Um, the the individuals are doing uh, the the early uh, years of our statehood lawyers decided well uh, we're going to construe the laws to however we want to construe them and so they created a law give me a second here let me find my my page here uh There's a lot of people out there that are phonies. I I do agree with you on that, but I do not agree with the fact that there is no sovereign man. That we're all just slaves, and we're all just going to do what we're told. No. Um, and I also want to state that HR 192 uh, does not give you remedy. That's not the actual remedy for discharging the debt. You have to file to the circuit district court in order to uh, adjust the account to zero because you have to remember uh, under the uh, federal rules of court, we are, um, we are under federal rules of court one and two, I'll post them in the the description here. We are under uh, common. Uh, we are all under uh, civil law, and um, I also have gone through and found uh, the uh, treasury, uh, the uh, the actual code that tells us that we are a treasury. And I also found a treasury direct account. So there's a treasury direct account that is also linked to us now. It's funny that they talk about the term of nobility, um, that nobody can have a, a title of nobility, uh, but yet, um, but yet every individual judge who's up there is your honor. Your honor is a t is a title of of um, calling somebody honorable is a title of nobility, um, and. Some of these laws are, are vague and ambiguous. You have to remember that certain elements of a crime for a warrant has to be authorized. There has to be an authorized affidavit. There has to be an affidavit from the police officer, from a witness. The witness has to be competent. And they get away with this because we don't know the law. Now, people like... like uh, Virgo Triad and me do know the law. We do inform us. Um, but you have to remember also uh, that in the Senate Report 93549, 93rd Congress, 1st, 1973, which was summarized, a majority of the people of the United States have lived their lives under emergency rule. And the United States action taken by the government in times of crisis have formed at least a civil war in important ways to shape the phenomenon of a permanent national state of emergency. Because remember, during during Abraham Lincoln's um, during Abraham Lincoln's reign, he filed a General Order One Hundred on April twenty first, nineteen six. Uh, sorry, eighteen sixty three. Apparently, the special code governed his actions under martial law and justified the seizing of power. The further extent to the District of Columbia and also fiction, and pay, it was also provided in provisions Article One Eight, uh, Article One Section Eight, Clause Seventeen and Eighteen. Uh, they, these are also known as a contract, also known as, this is a contract also known as the Constitution. Um, our laws, because Abraham Lincoln was shot, General Order 100, or the First Executive Order, uh, and the Ex Expedition Act of 1868, we are are still under martial law. So technically under martial law, there is no law 
for martial law. Um, if you really want to get technical, now you have to remember that we are we are all slaves. We are we own nothing. There's an actual uh, banking books and stuff that they have. Um, trying to the I'm trying to find the stuff. Um, here we go. In in uh, the there was a Senate bill that actually allows people. Let's say you're a pro per attorney, right? It allows you to construct and construe with unrestricted liberty per Senate Bill ninety four dash two hundred one and ninety four dash three eighty one. So when she stated, when Virgo Triad stated that, well, um. You are, uh, you can't be a government under 30, uh, 3, 28 U.S.C. 3002, uh, section A. I also would recommend looking at section 3. Um, the Senate Bill 94201 and 94381 allows an individual uh, to, to do so, to construe and construct it as the ways they so well see fit. Um, and if you if you really look at it, well, what's the difference between an attorney at law and an attorney in law? Well, there's totally separate meanings. For example, if you are in the river, you are wet, you can swim, etc. But if you are at the river, you might enjoy a refreshing picnic, play baseball, or run a race. Those are two different words using totally complete. Uh, using simple and completely easy syntax to manipulate. See, they, they construe the words however they want. Also, if you look at Corpus Juris Secundum Volume 7, Sections 2, 3, and 4, when she stated uh, that the more lady, uh, whatever her name, Pauline was, paid for an attorney, she was an idiot, uh, Pauline was, an idiot, because first off, attorneys don't work for you; they work for the courts and for the public. Second off, um, second off, if it really was an international issue, she would have filed. They would have uh, had um, to file an application for the SCJ, which is the international, the ICJ, which is the International Court of Justice. Um, and that these individuals would would have uh, had to file proceedings in there to see about that. Now, there's a March forty uh, March ninth, nineteen thirty three Senate document number four uh, number forty three of the seventy third Congress first first session. It states the ownership and property of the state, individual so called owners, is by virtue of government, i.e. law, amounting to a mere user. So you are a mere user. Uh, and your your ownership is only amounting to law by law is only amounting to a user. Um, on March 6, nineteen thirty three, uh, there was a subcommittee hearing on the Commission of Foreign Relations in nineteen fifty. You can see it on page forty uh, four ninety four Constitution of the United States Industrial uh, Development Organization Treaty Document ninety seven dash nineteen and the Communist Manifesto on March six nineteen thirty three. The governor of uh, the governors of uh, the governor pledged his faith and credit of several states and unions, aiding of the nation of government, and therefore numerous socialist programs and committees and council of state governments, SSAs, etc., portly deal with accommodate, accommodate the economic emergency, operating under the Declaration of Independence of January 2, 1937, and published some of their activities in the Books of State, Volume 11 and 44. Um, in 1950, the Senate hearings would ho hold cons meetings concerning the UN and organizations. James P. Wahlberg. Wahlberg is a, a huge international banking industry. He basically, he and many other banking industries, J.P. Morgan, own a lot of the majority of our planet uh, because under 2003, uh, we sold all our property. Uh, we sold our land off because we had to pay the debt, and we also used uh, the governor's pledge, faith, and credit, which means they pledged 
everything that the state had, um, including the birth certificates, which, again, you can find. Um, I'll put it in the description there and where you can find it. Um, you have to do some digging with that one because there's a lot of stuff on it. Um, and people, you know, a lot of misinformation, and it's a lot of well information. The information that I'm giving you is straight from the Congress. This is straight from the con Congressional House of the one that I found. Um, and you, you can't, again, you can't deny a law that is, it's, it's absolute. Now, remember, under Public Law 88-244, we are actually under, uh, the U.S. Uh, U.S. participation in 1945 actually made us an international. So we are under international courts. We are under animal. We are under Amnesty Law, the Joint Resolution for a Particular Government of the United States and Hog Conference for the Private International and International Rome Institute of Unifications of Private Law, authorizing the appropriations therefor, resolved by the Senate and the House Representatives of the United States of America, assemble that one. The President hereby authorizes and accepts membership of the United States in the Hog Conference of Inter Private International Law. And two, the International Roman Institute for Unification of Private Law. And appointed the United States delegates there to alternate to meetings and to organizations and committees thereof. Two, the section is appropriate. Such sums may be necessary, not exceeding $25,000. Annually, for payment by the United States, it is proportioned, shared by the expenses of the Prague, uh, HAG, H-A-G-U-E, conference, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, uh, on the Private International and International Rome Institute of the Unification of Private Laws, and the other necessary expenses to participation in the United States and in activities to the organizations referring to referred to in Clause 1 of this section, approved December 30th, 1963. Well, first off, so the president, the first line, the president uh, shipped us off to, uh, shipped all our rights off to and made us private international, under private international law and International Institute of Unification of Private Law. The second, he appointed delegates to our meetings, to attend meetings, organizations, and committee organizations, and the organs thereof. So that one, he says that he's allowing them to go to meetings, committees, and anything that's involved with the, the Prague uh, conference. So, uh, result, uh, and so this... This resulted in us being in a foreign law. So we are we are actually acting in a commercial capacity um, because all the laws were actually revised um, and became commercial law under the federal rules one and two. And so there's no, first off, there's no laws, but it, if you think there is laws, you're wrong. Um, second, the creditor, uh, because again, you have to remember, we're the creditor. We're the ones that they pledge their names, our names, our birth certificates, our security, trust, and interest. The secured party man is the sovereign man, not the people who just run around with these paperwork like the Moors. So this is just a little information um, that I have, that I've used and said in just in this little video here. But please understand that the real sovereign man is the secure party creditor, is the individual who, who is, is securing his rights and has an interest in some matter or interest in something. Now, the courts have an interest, right? How do they have an interest? The DA has an interest in the matter, right? When you go and you have a baby, uh, when you babysit, uh, you have an interest in the matter. You, you are either the parent or the babysitter. You have an in financial interest. Um, I want to also present you, hold on a second. Whew, my foot's numb. Ooh, um... I also want to present you with with uh, a little more information. Uh, 
if you're still not convinced, if I can find it, there it is. Um, my my judicial court system actually has a DUNS number. The city that I was invested in has a DUNS number. The police department that I had had a DUNS number. So the police department that arrested me was the Martinez Police Department. Their DUNS number is 0814789. Seven zero. Um, the city of Martinez is zero zero nine two three four nine eight zero. The judicial courts are three six three six six nine nine zero oh, eight. The county district attorneys is o oh, five o oh, three four five eight eight three. And uh, this is on. Uh, this is literally. Um, the Duns and Brads numbers of these, the Contra Costa County Bar Association has a Duns number, 18341523. Um, the West County Detention Facility in my county has a Duns number, 86848123. The Sheriff, 1002572943. These are all private institutions, private financial institutions that are actually registered. Your whole state is registered and, and actually authorized, a, an authorized public, private corporation, public slash private corporation. So when she states that you can't be a corporation and that you, uh, that these things are incorrect, um, yeah, these, these are very much, uh, misstatements by Miss Virgo, and she, she has a lot more to learn, uh, as well as me, there's so much law that we don't know, so many things that are unknown, uh, but it's like people like you and me that expose things like these and say things like these that actually can make a difference. But if you look at your local DUNS number, you look at your local state bar, you look uh, l look up your local state bar on your Secretary of State website, your business search, your, their names, their website will come up. Guess why? Because it's a private business. The... The Bar Association is actually inactive here in the state of California, but yet they're still committing acts of commercial business. See, everything is an act of commercial business. Um, Ms. Virgo, please realize, unless you have a UCC1, UCC3, you're not going to be a secured party in anything. You're going to be continue to be a slaver. You're going to owe debt, pay debt, be a financial slave. Um, if you are misleading people, don't do it if you aren't, you know, uh, you know, keep doing, I know, I, I know that there's a lot of information out there, but I advise people not to just trust their faith into one person. Um, don't even trust me. Do the research for yourself. Find it for yourself. Don't just believe an individual who's on the, who's famous or who has a lot of publicity and, or who's known. Who gives a fuck if they're known or they have a lot of publicity? That don't mean shit. It don't mean shit until you can show, show facts, show basics, show everything. Show me what you got. Uh, you know. If you, if, if these people, if, if a person tells you you're fake and they can't provide you information, then it's obviously phony. If it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Don't just believe anything anybody tells you. I'm not saying that she is false. She gives a lot of good information. I have done a lot of the research to meet myself. She knows about the secured party creditor. I, I hope that she's a secured party creditor herself. The government them right now is very, very concerned. They're like, um, 
I also would recommend patenting an ind- your individual name, Miss Triad, um, as you are committing an act of commercial business, technically e-commerce, because we're online, and um, I recommend uh, patenting your name in your company, Virgo Triad, obviously. I don't know if you already have, but if you already have, then good, you're a step ahead of me. Um, but you know, um, meaning that you already thought of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, thank you for putting the videos out. Continue to put the videos out, and I'll put videos out too. Uh, maybe one day we'll be able to do a video together and, uh, you know, we we'll really shock the world. Um, that's if you really want to shock the world. Um, Okay, thank you for watching. Subscribe, share, comment. Tell me what you think. Um, I'm going to post some of the stuff I've been saying online um, so that you can see this. Um, because these individuals, these things are need to, people need to know these things. People need to know why things are how they are. And uh, the truth, the truth will always be powerful the truth will always lead you to fact and you can deny fact all you want and you can say no it's not true it's not true uh, but the fact is when those laws are placed and you see that there is a treasury and you see all these things you'll find out uh, that you have been deceived all of us have been deceived thank you for watching share describe comment and remember that we will never accomplish anything by arguing, keeping ourselves separated, divided between each other. The only real way to win is to realize that we all are brothers and sisters and that our enemy is not each other, but the enemy is the government faction or corporation which seeks to divide us and separate us and steal our rights away. And I kind of got off track with the moors, but these are some of the things that individuals shall need to know. Thank you for watching. Share, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think.